Hello guys, and welcome to a How to Farm V-Bucks video, where we're going to be going into Battle Royale and Save the World. You can farm V-Bucks in both of them, so let's just get started with how to do it. So the first thing is, there's no such thing as free V-Bucks. You have to pay somewhere. Okay, so here's the... There's the prices of V-Bucks, you're going to have to buy this one if you want, and then buy the battle pass if you want to farm here. So, the reason why is it costs 950 V-Bucks to buy this battle pass. But, let's look. 100, 200, 400, 500, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1100, 1200, 1300, 1400, 1500. So you earn 550 V bucks. Oh. Yeah, you you get the point. You earn one. That you earn 550 V bucks back from all of this. Or 600. You had 600. Sorry, I don't know maths. And then you end up getting some nice stuff. And what you'd want to do is, you, in the next 14 days, you would want to pay to get the next battle pass, and it'll give get your money back also that is if you play enough because I know you all want these emotes and stuff so that's the only way to farm in battle royale it's a small investment to gain some good money some good stuff so here in save the world is where you gain all the V bucks I've gotten the thousands I I got my money back from it in V bucks that is and if you're wondering what V-Bucks means, that means vendor tech bucks, scrubs. Alright, so here's my game. I have some of these llamas I can open. Here's the store. So, you get thousands of V-Bucks from this. It's $40 to buy, and once you buy it, you start off, and you have to do one of these one of these shield defenses where you go and defend your shield which will get you about 200 V bucks automatically and then you can do these daily quests you have three of which gets you 150 V bucks a day and then you have these challenges where you have to complete a certain amount of missions you get 50 V bucks you complete a certain amount of shield defenses you get 50 V bucks you kill a certain amount of mimics you get 50 V bucks and from this new event we're in right now you see here's one of them this new event the third mission gives you V bucks the fifth the fourth and fifth one give you V bucks you get so much v, so many V bucks from these and if I were maybe to go in here okay well um Every now and then when you highlight over some levels, it will have, it will say that it gives you a certain amount of V-Bucks. And you can do those things three times, and they, they're like charges, and you get a new charge every 24 hours. Because you can get some really good stuff from this. If you were to play, you'd want to do this. See, it's just giving you a bunch of trash stuff down here. You don't, you don't want you won't need this higher up. Like, look, power level 1, power level 43. So, yeah, that's pretty much a guide on how to get V-Bucks. You have to pay somewhere. And one thing about getting V-Bucks here is you probably won't want... You probably won't want to spend it on Battle Royale because this is a really good game. I like it more than Battle Royale. But I, I will go back and play Battle Royale every now and then. So, yeah. And about the thing about the shield defenses is you can do 10 here. You can do 10 here. You can do 10 here. 10 here. Then you can do 10 in the hardest area. Each getting you 150 V-Bucks. But the quests get harder. Like, and you get legendary weapons you can craft. I recommend it to anybody will be a good game even though it's going to be free you can go ahead and get ahead of your friends if you like to play fortnite you get all these legendary weapons look i can craft infinite of these 
as long as I have the materials. Those weapons will die. So yeah, this game is mostly you trying to figure out what you need to do. And I kind of regret something like- I got- This is- If you ever start playing, this is one of the best weapons. It's a really good shotgun called the bear. And it has energy on it. But, I already have this, which already has energy on it, also. Yeah, it's a success. Success. <laughs> Alright, so that was a little guide on how to get V-Bucks. You'll use them here in the store just to play around and stuff, and... You gotta manage out what you want to buy, what you don't want to buy, kind of thing. So yeah, thank you for watching, and goodbye.